As a woman, don't try to force a man to marry you. Don't do that. Watch this video until the end. Hello, great people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to today's episode. Thank you so much, my returning subscribers. I trust God you are all doing fine. Are you viewing for the first time? You are welcome. My name is Blessing Akan. I am a life coach and a relationship counselor. In my YouTube channel, I share my opinion on topics related to being better in our relationship with one another and how to achieve our individual goals. I also talk on educative topics and react to relevant issues, happenings, or stories that impact human life positively. Yes. So if my kind of content is what you like, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on your notification bell for you to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you. Okay guys, today's topic is signs he is not ready for marriage. What are those signs that the man you are dating, the man you are in a relationship with, is not ready to marry you? Every reasonable and responsible woman Want a man that will take her serious, not a man that will use her and dunk her. No doubt about it, there are women who go into the relationship just for what they stand to gain. They see relationship as a financial institution and because it is beneficial to them, they don't care what the man do. Okay? So every reasonable and responsible woman wants more than just a relationship. But there is something we need to keep in mind as women. Men are naturally indecisive in nature. Some of them don't even know the importance of getting married. And it is also important for us to know that it is not every man you meet that is a husband. I always tell young women that stop seeing a husband in every man you meet. Not every man is ready for marriage. Some are dating you just to have fun. Some are dating you because they are lonely for that period of time. So women should know the difference. That is why I said, don't force a man who is not ready to marry you to be ready. You cannot influence a man's decision making by force. And sometimes women spend time doing the wrong things, thinking that those are the things that will make the man to marry them. Imagine being so available for a man. You are always available. You are always around him. Sometimes you go and spend one month, two months in his house, washing clothes, cooking different kind of food for him, cleaning his house. When he comes back from work, you serve him food, you serve him with your body, and so on. Those are not the things that will make him marry you. It is important for you to know that as a woman, you need to build yourself into a woman that a man would not just be attracted to you, he will want to stay with you. He will see you as a wife and want to take the decision to marry you. I'm not saying that you should not go to your man's house, you should not clean his house, no. But most women do this as a habit. Most women tend to do this as a strategy to make the man to marry them. And it is very wrong if you are doing that. Work on yourself. Have your own life. Build your life. A man that wants to marry you, you don't need to convince him. He will see you and he will see a wife in you. So for some of you who are into a relationship and you have been seeing some of these red flags I want to share with you today and you are tolerating, you are thinking that he will change because of you. Hmm. I don't know if he will change. But the truth is there are certain things a man will do to you that you will know that he is not ready to marry you. So I'm going to share with you today nine signs he is not ready for marriage. The first point here today is that he avoids commitment. Yes. If a man is avoiding commitment, it is a sign that he is not ready for something serious. Neither is he ready for marriage. A man that loves you for real will be committed to you and the relationship. He will always want to be of help to you. He is committed naturally. You don't need to beg for communication. You don't need to beg for his attention. He makes you his priority. 
So if you're in a relationship and your man is not committed to you, my dear sister, that man is not ready for marriage. Yes. And the second point is, he is not settled about himself. Yes. There are men who are not settled about themselves. They cannot take big decisions in life. How then can they take the decision to marry? They don't know their purpose. They don't have a clear vision of who they are or where they are going to in life. If you are in a relationship with, that is why it's good to study a man. There are men who are actually ready for marriage. In fact, if you see them, you are in a relationship with them, you will know from their character. But a man who is not, who is naturally not settled about his life, he don't even know himself completely. Such a man will hardly take a decision to marry. So if you are in a relationship, Try to study your man to know if that man is even settled about himself. And the third point is, he is never willing to compromise. Yes, compromise is important in a relationship. There are certain things we should never give up for a relationship. I have made a video on that. But you see compromise, hmm, it is important because relationship is the coming together of two imperfect people. Okay, take for instance, you don't like the way he dress or you don't like one or two characters in him and you complain he refused to change. Okay, that is the sign that that man is not even ready for you. A man that is ready for you will always want to adjust. There are men that don't care if you are hot or not. They are not willing to compromise anything. Such a man is not ready for marriage. Fourth point is he only talks about his future. Have you ever been in a relationship with a man? He only talks about himself, how he's going to travel out, how he will do this, he will do that. Like, he don't try to make you be part of his decisions. Like, he don't make you feel that you are part of him. It is a sign that he's not ready for something serious. A man that loves you will always want to include you in his plans. He will only be talking about himself all the time. He will always want to include you in his future plans. So if you're in a relationship with a man and he's only planning about himself, talking about himself all the time, hmm, my sister, it is a sign that he is not ready for something serious and he is not ready for marriage. And the fifth point is he will never ask or encourage you on your goals in life. If you're in a relationship, and the man don't ask about your goals, what are your plans in life, or you are doing something and he's not supportive, like he don't even care about what you do in life. Hmm. It is a sign that that man is not ready for something serious. A man that loves you will care about what you do, will, he wants to know your plans, he wants to know where you are heading to in life, because he will always be there to encourage you. That is a sign that that man loves you and he wants something more than just a relationship. But a man who just wants you for, you know, for fun or for, will never ask you about your purpose in life. He will never support your goals, support your dreams in life. So it is a sign that that man is not ready for you. A man that is ready for you, he will care about your goals in life and he will encourage you. He will be what? Supportive. And the sixth point is, he always threatens to quit the relationship in every misunderstanding. Yes, misunderstandings are inevitable in every relationship. There is always a misunderstanding. But there are men that are not mature enough to handle such misunderstandings. Every little thing, they want to quit, they want to leave the relationship. Sometimes, even if he's the one that offend you, he will never apologize. You will be the one begging him all the time. He threatened to always leave the relationship because of a misunderstanding. That is a sign that that man is not ready for something serious and he's not ready for marriage. A man that loves you will always say he is sorry. Sometimes he even say it even when he's not wrong. But a man that always claim right will always want to leave the relationship in every little conflict. So know the difference, okay? The seventh point is he is not proud of you in public. A man that is ready for marriage, a man that loves you for real, he will be very proud of you. Among his friends, among his family, he will always want to talk about you. Not a man that will be hiding you. If a man tries to hide you, he's not proud of you in public, that means that man has not seen a wife in you. He is not ready for something serious and he is not ready to marry you. Eighth point is, he don't care about your family and friends. Yes, caring about your family and friends don't mean that you should be sharing money to them, no. A man that loves you will always ask after your family. He will always ask you. 
He will love everybody around you. He will, in fact, he will want to prove to you that he loves you. He loves your friends. He loves your family. But a man that hardly or will never ask about your family members, he don't care about people around you. Hmm. It is a sign that that man is not taking you serious. That man is not ready for marriage. A man who wants you for life, who wants you as a wife, will always want to care about your family and friends. The ninth point, which is the last point I have to share with you today, is that he always downgrade and criticize you. <laughs> if you're in a relationship with a man that always criticizes you, he finds fault in everything that you do, he makes you feel as if you are not good enough for him, it is a sign that he is not ready for something serious and he is not ready for marriage. A man that loves you for real will want to always bring out the best in you, not to always criticize you or make you feel bad about yourself. So as women, please, don't ignore these signs if you're in a relationship. Don't try to force a man to marry you. Don't try to influence a man's decision to marry you. It is very bad. It makes you look desperate. It makes you look as if you are so much in need of the relationship. And that is very wrong. Build yourself into a woman that a man will not just be attracted to your physical appearance, rather the non-physical characteristics in you will make him to stay and take the decision to marry you. Don't forget there are good men out there and I pray you find one soon. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget that I love you. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Thank you so much. Subscribe. See you in my next episode. Bye-bye.